Right, so uh, let's have a look at Oh Holy Night. Now, we, it's a well-known carol, and we've sung this a few times, but what I would like us to do today particularly is look at the parts in the chorus, because that's where we um, we sing the whole thing in parts. So the way that we're going to do it is we have a solo, um, a female solo for part for the first verse, a male solo for the second verse. We all sing the third verse in unison, but every time we come to the chorus, we sing that in parts. So let's have a look at the chorus. Um, we've got, uh, it, it starts where we get, where we're in the second page, fall on your knees. Okay, so the second page, here, this is the tune. Okay, so sopranos are gonna sing the tune. And uh, just to say sopranos, we're, we're going to not go to the top G at the end until we get to the final verse. Okay, so you're just gonna sing the main notes um, in the first and the second chorus. So let's go through this quickly together. Here's your note, sopranos. Ready? And fall on your knees, for you need to voices, for night divine. <clears throat> so there's your tune, which everyone knows anyway, but it's an opportunity for you to sing through it. Now, just to be careful about where we're going to breathe in this, so just to be sure, um, you can breathe after knees and then after voices, after divine, after born, when Christ was born, um, after night, both times, and then at the end. Okay, so every time you see a comma or a... Um, uh, any form of punctuation really you can breathe um, but like for example don't breathe after O oh, night breathe when Christ was born okay you've got to sing that through um, <clears throat> keeping the uh, dotted rhythms exact please as well on your knees and the angel voices um, etc uh, what else is there Three beats um, at the end of most of the phrases, so hold them on your knees. Oh, here, yeah, okay. It's not oh, here, it's oh, here. Uh, so just be aware of that. So the S of knees goes on that rest. Um, same for voices, the it goes on the S goes on the rest. Um, yeah, okay, I think that's it for the Sopranos. So let's have a look at the alto part now. So um, we'll just sing through the first verse, really. Um, the rest of it, uh, I think it should be pretty straightforward to fit in um, when you get into the, well, I'm, I'm saying this is the chorus. I mean, clearly <laughs> it's not the chorus because it's got different words, but you know what I mean? That, that That's the kind of point where it all kind of grows. <clears throat> That's where we're all going to come in. Okay, so second uh, part, the altos. Let's look at fall on your knees. So you've got that note there. So you've just heard, you've just sung in unison. Um, you and glorious morn, glorious there's the E. So you've just sung the note like one, two before, yeah. So you come back to that note <clears throat> for fall on your knees and you sing Fall on your knees Oh hear the angel voices Oh night divine Oh night when Christ was born So that's your part. 
be aware that now and again you've kind of taken a little step up there. So it happens on um, Divine and it happens on Holy, the last Holy. Um, okay, so just be aware of that. Other than, other than that, um, it's again, same, same thing with the um, dotted rhythms, making them nice and neat uh, and holding all of those notes for their full value, okay? So, knees. So as you come onto that um, rest, that's where this comes for knees. And the same will happen um, if we, like voices and, and so on. Uh, all right, I think that's quite straightforward for you. So just go back and sing that over this if you need to. All right, 10 is on X. <clears throat> so you've just sung. You're either down here with the tune or you're singing up. I would have said, you'll be down here. You are glorious moon. Then you go up there, which is the same as um, what the soprano, it's, it's where the sopranos are. You're an octave below, okay? So you're singing that same. On your knees, oh, hear the angel voices, oh, night divine, oh, night when Christ was born, oh, night, oh, So like the altos, you've got a few kind of notes where you're kind of moving on just at the end. So let's have a look at where that happens. Um, uh, oh, night when Christ was born. Night when Christ was born. Okay, so watch out for that. And all that happens as well in that divine. Night divine. Okay. It's, I think that's pretty much it for you guys. All right, so just make sure that you're holding everything for its full value and breathe every time, only breathe when you can see some um, punctuation. Don't breathe in between phrases. Okay, men, lower voices, but basses, whoever you are, this is your part. So you've just sung. You're taking a step up. I'll sing an octave up for you, okay? Here's your note. Fall on your knees, oh hear the angel voices, oh night divine, oh night when Christ was born, oh night, oh So that's the bass part. Uh, again, look out for where you sort of taking some steps up over certain um, syllables. So you've got that uh, glory uh, on no night divine. <clears throat> You're saying um, divine. Okay, so you come up there. And on glory as well. Oh, sorry, I mean, sorry, on, on ho a holy night at the end. Holy night. Um, I don't think there's anywhere else. Oh, and again, you do that octave jump down, don't you? On uh, if you go back to O night when Christ was born. O night when Christ was born. That's quite tricky. Night. We don't want to slide. So hear the note, hear the bottom note in your head before you sing it. Night. Ba, ba, do, do. That helps. Right, so that's the the um the main bass part. Okay. Um so that's that's really what you have to go go home and well <laughs> go home. go go and practice, okay, because that's um 
it needs to be just right for us all kind of coming together for that um, lovely uh, sort of um, combined sound at the end of each verse there um, so we've so every time you come to fall on your knees or he knows our need or Christ is the Lord all four parts come in um, sopranos let's just have a look at your very very last bit that you do <clears throat> so you are singing on the last verse power and glory evermore some of you not all of you so again those of you who feel comfortable going up to the G this is how it goes for his power and glory evermore proclaim so it goes like this Okay, so how it fits into the words. Okay, so it's a real whoa at the end there. Uh, so you see, you on you don't go down to the G. You you sing that D because in the in the previous verses you would have been singing. G to E, but the but the 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 sort of discant part really. This is what we're talking about. You stay on that D and you sing it again, and then you're up to the the G. <clears throat> okay, so that's that really. Let's quickly finish off by looking at how the the verse goes. So we look at the third verse only for everybody. Okay, and we're all singing the tune. So I'll play it. Um, in the up two octaves, okay. And the words are truly, he taught us to love one another. His law is love, and his gospel is peace. <laughs> okay, you do not put us there until we absolutely have to. Now, um, I the word claims there, I think, is wrong. I think it's chains. So please make sure that we sing, rub that out, or put a line through it. We're going to sing, Chains shall he break. For the slave is our brother. That makes a lot more sense than claim, shall he break? I'm sure it's a misprint. Um, and in his name, all oppressions shall cease. That's a lot. <laughs> there, so be careful. Sweet hymns of joy and grateful chorus raising that all within us praise his holy name. And then we will go into our parts. So this is, let's um, sing along to, to the third verse. Three. So it's one, two. True. Part, um, final section. Be careful um, about where we where, where you're going to breathe here. So let's just make sure you've got some breath marks in. Truly, he taught us love one another. Breathe. His law is love, and his gospel is peace. Breathe. So make sure you take a deep breath before that, because you're going to have to hold the word peace for one, two, three, four, five, six beats. Da, 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 like that. Okay, we've got that thing going on in the piano part. Um, Claims that they break for the slave is our brother. Breathe. You can breathe after break. And in his name, all oppression shall oppression shall cease. Now let's have a look. There's this little grace note there. Okay. <clears throat> so we, what we sing is. Um, and in his name, all oppression shall cease. Shun, shun. Yeah, that's how we do it. Shun. So it's just literally that that D kind of just absolutely sneaking in there before the C. Okay. Shun shall cease. 
Okay, so just practice that. And then of course you can breathe where the rests are. Um, so your terms of joy and grateful chorus. You can sing that through to raising and then again to holy name. All right, so that should be fine with the breathing. It's not going to be too slow. All right, enjoy it. I'll leave you with that. And um, keep, keep singing a Sweet Charming Bells and uh, the Angel Carol. We'll come back to those next week, okay? I hope you'll be ready to um, record Sweet Charming Bells next week. But fantastic. Um, uh, enjoy singing a holy night and um, I will see you on Zoom on Tuesday.